Welcome, fellow pilgrims, to our sacred journey on this Catholic pilgrimage of St. Bridget of Sweden YouTube video today. I'm Priscilla, and I invite you to join me on an extraordinary pilgrimage where we explore the rich traditions and spiritual treasures of the Catholic faith. In this sacred space, we delve into the depths of devotion, faith, and the power of prayer with a special focus on the inspiring Catholic pilgrimage of St. Bridget of Sweden. This channel is all about teaching you about the holy saints so that you can deepen your faith. I also help you plan your Catholic pilgrimage to visit these incredible saints and bring your faith to the next level. This channel is about fostering a deeper understanding of our faith, embracing the teachings of Christ, and discovering the beauty of Catholic traditions. Today, we'll explore the exciting experience contained within the Catholic pilgrimage of St. Bridget of Sweden and apply its lessons to our everyday lives. Together, we'll cultivate a space of spiritual growth where we can learn from one another, uplift each other, and find solace in the planning of the Catholic pilgrimage of St. Bridget of Sweden and our shared Catholic heritage. So, whether you're a seasoned devotee or just beginning your journey of faith, this channel is for you. Let's unite as a community of prayerful souls embarking on this divine pilgrimage of the heart. Join me on this journey today about planning a Catholic pilgrimage of St. Bridget of Sweden where prayer becomes a transformative force and our souls find sanctuary. Take a moment now to subscribe to our channel because we have more awesome videos coming up and hit the notification bell to be a part of our sacred journey. Let's get started. How can I make a pilgrimage to see St. St. Bridget of Sweden. Making a pilgrimage to visit sites in Sweden associated with St. Bridget offers a profound way to spiritually connect with this holy woman. Some key places for devotees to see include the town of Fetstina, where the Abbey of St. Bridget is located along with her relics. The Abbey offers tours and reflection. The Cathedral of Lund, which contains St. Bridget's sculpted monument and the chapel of the three kings she founded. The Castle of Alvestra, where she frequently stayed and had religious visions. Its ruins still stand along with a monument. The Bridget Bridgetine Convent in Stockholm, Sweden's capital city, where relics of St. Bridget are housed. Travel tips, fly into Stockholm on pilgrim priced flights, then travel to Vetstina to stay and pray in the Abbey. Tour the Cathedral of Lund and the castle ruins at Avestra. Partake in St. Bridget celebrations in Sweden on her feast day, July 23rd. Let her story come alive. What other saints are located in Sweden? In addition to St. Bridget, other Catholic saints connected to Sweden include St. Catherine of Sweden, St. Bothid, St. Helena of Skavd, St. David of Monktorp, and others from the medieval period of Scandinavia's Christianization. There is St. Catherine of Sweden who lived between 1331 and 1381. She was the daughter of St. Bridget who succeeded her mother as head of the Order of the Most Holy Savior. She lived piously at the Vetstina Abbey. Next, you have St. Bothid. He died around 1100. He is the patron saint of Stockholm and Sweden's first native saint. He was martyred for destroying idols and spreading Christianity. Many churches still bear his name. St. Helena of Skavd who died around 1160. She was a devout Christian woman killed by her own husband due to her faith, she is now considered a martyr. Her relics are at the Skavd Cathedral. Saint David of Monktorp who died in 1082. He was a Benedictine monk known for his missionary work across Scandinavia and his tradition of silence and contemplation. Saint Siegfried who died around 1045. He was an English Benedictine priest who traveled to Sweden as a missionary bishop, converted many to Christianity and established churches. These holy men and women provide examples of profound faith and sacrifice right from Sweden's own history. Their presence enriches the spiritual landscape. When you're making travel arrangements to see St. Bridget of Sweden here are some things to consider. For Catholics wishing to embark on a pilgrimage to Sweden to visit holy sites connected to St. Bridget, careful travel arrangements facilitate a smooth and fruitful journey. Book flights, ideally at least six months in advance for lower fares. Fly into Stockholm's airport. Research hotel options in Vetstina near the Abbey of St. Bridget or in other towns towns like Lund. Reserve rooms early. Consider options to travel between towns via train, bus, or rental car. Using a mix provides flexibility. Create a daily itinerary organizing when and where to visit key pilgrimage sites for St. Bridget. Check visa or passport requirements for your home country and validate for the length of stay in Sweden. Notify your bank of international travel. Exchange cash for Swedish krona currency. Pack suitable clothing for Sweden's climate. Be prepared with proper walking shoes, outerwear, etc. Purchase a Sweden guidebook and learn some basic Swedish phrases to help interactions. Reflect on how this journey deepens your connection to St. Bridget and your Catholic faith. With prayerful planning, a Catholic pilgrimage walking in St. Bridget of Sweden's footsteps promises to draw you nearer the Lord. Let St. Bridget of Sweden guide you each step along the way. I've traveled extensively. Among the nations I've traveled to are America, Scotland, Korea, Hong Kong, Macau, the Vatican, Switzerland, France, Milan, and all of Israel. I'll be in Turkey very soon. I am knowledgeable
cool about so many aspects of travel. That's why I've posted some great links in the description for you to help you find cheap flights, car rentals, plan your vacation with fun activities, get train tickets, international cell phones, and travel insurance. So make sure to save this video so that you have those links handy when you need them for your Catholic pilgrimage to see St. Bridget of Sweden. Time to pack your bags. What is the morning prayer of St. Bridget? As part of her 15 prayer cycle, the first prayer is designated as St. Bridget's morning prayer to be said upon waking each day. It petitions God for light, wisdom, grace to reject sin, and the promise of salvation through Jesus Christ. Starting each day conversing with God in this manner consecrates one's morning to Christ's service. When this prayer passes our lips at dawn, we set our feet upon a righteous path for all the hours ahead. What better way to begin? How can praying the 15 prayer of St. Bridget help me become a saint? By devoutly praying the 15 prayer of St. Bridget daily over the years, one models their spirit after this holy Bridgetine example of mystical devotion. The prolonged practice of these petitions facilitates our growth towards sainthood in several impactful ways. The wisdom sought prepares our conscience to better discern God's will in all things. Meditations on Christ's sacrifice increase compassion and unite our suffering to His. Gifts of grace strengthen virtues within us and form holy habits. Resistance to sin and vice is reinforced, removing obstacles on the spiritual path. Our days acquire a Christ-centered rhythm rooted in scripture and mystic saints. Consistent prayer transforms our intellect, speech, and actions toward greater holiness. Saint Bridget intercedes for us based on our shared devotion through these prayers. In essence, praying the 15 prayer of Saint Bridget facilitates our sanctification by conforming us to the same holy wisdom, merits, and graces that shape this great saint. Over the years, this cycle of petitions can rework our inner life towards saintliness. Let Saint Bridget light our way forward. Are you inspired? Did the lessons on the 15 prayer of Saint Bridget of Sweden today inspire you in any way? The biographies of saints make for enlightening reading and discussion. It's highly likely to bear spiritual fruit in our life. Would you be interested in having a brief conversation with your loved ones about the 15 prayer of Saint Bridget of Sweden in an easy way? If you're sporting the stunning shirt I made just for you, you won't have any trouble explaining the life of Saint Bridget of Sweden and how to make a Catholic pilgrimage to see her. It's entertaining to discuss saints with close friends, family, and total strangers while wearing these t-shirts. In an easy way, you can discuss Saint Bridget of Sweden and her contributions to the church with anyone who simply inquires what your shirt says. They could even consent to go to church with you. Better yet, you might be able to introduce them to the gospel. Are you familiar with the gospel? I believe that you were brought to this video today for a reason. Let's take a moment to think about the gospel and what the religion of Christianity is all about. The Bible tells us that all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and that we all need a savior because of this. Romans 3.23 Because of this, God sent his one and only son to us to be the atonement for our sins. As it says in John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. You see, in Malachi 3-6 God says, I am the Lord, and I do not change. He has always required a blood sacrifice for the atonement of sins. He says this in Leviticus 17:11, For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. He also repeats this in the New Testament when he says in Hebrews 9:22, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. This is why Jesus, God in the flesh, had to come into the world and live under the law, which are the Ten Commandments, to redeem those who were under the law. Have you obeyed the entire law of the Lord? Have you ever stolen anything, even if it was small? Have you ever lied? Right. Have you ever not kept Sunday as a day of rest and worship of the Lord? Have you ever looked with lust at another person that you were not married to or done physical things with a person you were not married to? Have you ever desired something that your friend or neighbor had that didn't belong to you? To be honest, it's easy to break these laws because our nature is inclined to sin. The Bible says that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1-8 minutes. 9. Because God loves us so much, in Isaiah 53, 10, it says, Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush Jesus, when his soul makes an offering for guilt. Jesus was born of a virgin, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. He conquered sin and death, and because he rose from the dead, he promises to raise us from the dead after we die too. This is the glorious gospel. The next step after a person has received the gospel is to go to RCIA at your local Catholic church. You can search for the nearest church on Google and call them to see when the next classes start. If they don't start for some months, you can still meet with the director and get some books to read to tie you over before it starts. I will be praying for you about all of this. This is the road to eternal life.
the Rite of Christian Initiation for Adults, RCIA, is a process that allows family members, friends, and acquaintances to come into the Catholic Church and be able to receive the Holy Sacraments. Students can learn everything they need to know about our glorious Christian religion and our compassionate Jesus by participating in RCIA sessions given by their parish. This is truly how you save someone's life. I'm praying for you in this. Now that you've learned about how to make Catholic pilgrimage to see St. Bridget of Sweden, do you have a few more minutes to dive into another saint? Why not learn about the miraculous faith of Saints Peter and Paul, the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the Saint Maria Goretti Novna, or Feast Corpus Christi? Have you ever considered returning daily to learn more about the saint of the day after studying how to make a Catholic pilgrimage to see Saint Bridget of Sweden? If you'd like to receive my daily saint emails in your inbox to go my website and sign up. I even give you a free Mother Mary screensaver to put on your phone so you can enjoy Our Lady of Perpetual Help on the daily every time you look at your phone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other videos about inspiring saints. I appreciate you taking the time to view this video. Make sure to check out the links below in the description so you can grab your Saint Bridget of Sweden Catholic t-shirt and be a part of our We Are Saintly Catholic community by signing up for our email list and joining us on Patreon. I sincerely hope that thinking about and learning how to plan a Catholic pilgrimage of Saint Bridget of Sweden has brought you a sense of comfort and tranquility. If you found this video to be beneficial, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel. Always remember to keep the faith and believe in the power of prayer. May God bless you and provide you with guidance on your journey. Until we meet again, take care of yourself and stay safe.